about sin z upon z minus pi about z equals pi. If you suppose z minus pi is the variable t, then you have sin z rewritten as sin pi plus t and z minus pi can be written as t. Therefore, the given function becomes sin pi plus t upon t. We have sin pi plus theta equals minus sin theta. Therefore, sin pi plus t can be written as negative sin t. So, when you apply Maclaurin series to the function sin t, which you consider as function f of t, you have f of t equals f of 0 plus t times f dash of 0 plus t square upon 2 factorial f double dash of 0 plus t cube upon 3 factorial f triple dash of 0 plus etc. When sin t is given t equals 0, you have f of t equals f of 0 equals sin 0 which is 0. f dash of t is derivative of sin t which is cos t. Therefore, f dash of 0 equals cos 0 which is 1 f double dash of t is derivative of cos t which is minus sin t therefore f double dash of 0 equals minus sin 0 which is 0 f triple dash of 0 is derivative of minus sin t which is negative cos t therefore f triple dash of 0 equals minus cos 0 which is minus 1 when you substitute all these values in the Maclaurin series expansion of sin t you obtain sin t equals t minus t cube by 3 factorial plus t raised to 5 by 5 factorial minus etc. Now if you try to write minus sin t by t using this expansion you have minus sin t by t equals minus 1 by t times this Maclaurin series expansion. You have when minus 1 by t is multiplied to each term inside the square bracket you obtain minus 1 plus t square by 3 factorial minus t raised to 4 by 5 factorial plus etc. Now you have to replace t by z minus pi and you obtain the final step minus sin t upon t equals minus 1 plus z minus pi the whole square upon 3 factorial minus z minus pi the whole raised to 4 upon 5 factorial plus etc. Which is series expansion of the given function about z equals pi. We have expanded the given function in powers of z minus pi.